right, guys, it's Musa. We're here with Spicy Tasty Vegan. Uh, oh, we got actually Dr. Joe Vessel right next to me right here. <laughs> How you doing, man? Uh, all right, I'm fine, I'm fine. It's good to meet y'all. I'm Musa from Musa Journeys on YouTube. Okay. I've only been in the game for about a little bit over a year now. I've okay. been watching you guys, and y'all inspired me to finally come on out from the U.S. Bless. And I've been integrating more vegetarian meals, though. I'm a meat eater. Okay. So Go I've been it. looking at a lot of your stuff and trying to learn how to integrate it in. Yeah, that's All right. Okay, guys, I want to give you a quick look through. They're presenting things. I mean, I'll get their presentation together. Yes. So. Oh, okay. Nothing better than food. There you go. All right. So they're going to feed us first. Okay. Um, there we go. <laughs> All, right. All right, guys. The program is getting ready to get started here. I'll be trying to sneak a couple pieces in so you can see it. Please give you a job here. I want to thank every individual that makes it to this occasion today. We are very, we are very grateful to the different associations that send their representatives to come and visit this occasion with the University of the Gambia Student Union. But just to give a start about the background of these wonderful people we are seeing outside here, these people that have came to join the journey with the University of the Gambia, but also to join the first ever, and I would say start out to the University of the Gambia Student Union for having this idea to start this space start and also put us in the mood. To just start, Cheers Cap, uh, Tasty, Spicy Tales Wagon Cousin. This is a group of African Americans that started this journey seven years ago. I mean, well, not seven days, so seven hours, so seven minutes. This was seven years ago, when a group of African Americans come together with a similar thought, a similar belief, and a similar mindset, that what can we bring to our African people? What change can we bring on board? So first of all, before we start anything, I want us in the audience to please clap for this group of African Americans. Thank you. 
compassionate or promoting healthy nutrition to choose the university like University of Gambia where they are making their presentation today. And despite all our busy schedules today, uh, for some of you might suspect that we are just from another engagement. But for me, given the nature of food, even though I'm the best lover of food, I think I saw some specific things here I distracted in my presentation. Um, I believe that that is the inspiration. An inspiration for who? For the young people in the university. Some of us who will have to sometimes reassess our thinking of what a healthy food is. Because most of the times we think that the consistent noise we make in the kitchen, the char, um, the dulling, uh, the any sort of things that we think that has oil and uh, feces there and anything that we think, I mean, is probably the common best food for the Gambian populace. Sometimes these things lack certain ingredients that can promote healthy life. And having people from outside, as far as the United States of America, to come and display the importance of our own foods, or foods that we can capitalize on. Some of our farmers that are cultivating these kind of fruits can be found in the hinterland of this country. And most of the times people feel that these people are not eating better food. Because probably the manner in which they are prepared, that is what is consistently pushing. But nobody can doubt the importance of food. And I commend uh, the team, that is the vegan cuisine as well as the common, for choosing the University of Gambia and to come and interact with the students of the University of Gambia. And I believe by the time this engagement ends, uh, we'll be able to get so many inspiration from them that will go a long way in shaping our own lives so that we can have a healthy uh, life. And that will also go a long way in terms of promoting our ability to acquire knowledge in an environment that will also be healthy. So I commend all of you from different faculties or from different entities or some associations in the University of Gambia for coming to witness this particular presentation. And I also commend people from outside the university who are here with us here to grace this wonderful day. And I, of course, I will thank and appreciate the immense effort that have been input by the Education and Research Ministry to ensure that this becomes a success. And I will thank the entire council of the University of Uganda Student Union. Despite this schedule, we try to sacrifice some moments to ensure that we are here and grace this wonderful moment. And that is what the university is expected to do. At the end of the day, we can go to the grassroots and tell people that the engagement we had is fruitful. And of course, some of the products that were displayed are things that can be found in our own disposal. And we can prepare them in the best ways to ensure that we protect our health and of course become some of the most, uh, most healthiest people in, uh, on earth. And I thank the vegan cuisine once again for choosing the University of Gambia. On that note, I thank you all.
welcome this idea and also have the university students come and join the conversation and also be able to elevate these discourses outside these four corners of, of the hall, but between our families, within our brothers and sisters outside. So we are really grateful. Thank you so much to back here with the council and congratulations for this too. So now we welcome the education and research minister of the University of the Gang Students Union to come and give a bio of the various uh, speakers. So can we please welcome Mr. Musa Hanbo. I want to give you a Thank you very much, Abhi. Uh, good afternoon to you all. Uh, I want to thank you all for responding to our call and we have to this. So I'm not speaking for you, still to their biography. There is uh, Dr. Joe and Mama Nazir so that you know who they are and how they come with this. Okay. Nazira Angela Chris Mama Nazira is a native San Franciscan, graduate from City College, Francisco, Labrador Technician Department, and has a BA from New College of California. Nazira is a mother of four healthy sons, married over 40 years, not a legal chef. Health advocate and entrepreneur with over 40 years to give and get an experience. She has been on a plant diet for over 40 years and a vegan for 20 years. Many of you are, are the best vegan chef in the world. <laughs> Dr. Pedro Blasi, that is Dr. Joe, in short, is a Hastings Law School graduate. Former teacher and educator for over 30 years. For Peace, Steps for Peace Award recipient, write and perform of music, providing positive, inspirational, and self empowering messages. A health advocate and married of 25 years. Dr. Joe is the founder and director of Oakland Street Peace Festival. He has been a vegetarian for over 20 years and a vegan for 25 years. Mama Nasir and her husband, Dr. Fred Joe Blaze, co author three books Spicy Tasty Vegan Cuisine. Sorry, 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 <laughs> they wrote about two, three books. These are not the books that they wrote. Yeah, they wrote two, three books. <laughs> and I was there and I ended up using 27 months. No TV, no radio, no too much to sit out there. Just focus on it. Proper design, and when it was or it was done, they were able to get a lot of people buying this book because of the health benefit of information that they were able to gather in it. Health guide for, for the Milan people, that is people of color, became the one best seller nutritional. The other book there is an informative guide to healthy living and spicy tasty vegan cuisine, and informative health guide for the melanated people of color. In 2016, spicy tasty vegan cuisine and informative health guide for the melanated people and people of color became number one best-selling nutritional health guide on Amazon. This book was one time 2016 the best health guide book on Amazon. <laughs> became number one bestseller on the health and the prison in the UK too. They have lived in the Gambia. In January 2019, Spicy Tasty Vegan Cuisine and Implemented Guide to Healthy Living, the book of the general public, became number one bestseller of health and the prison in the UK. So it was the best in 2016 in Amazon, in 2019 in the UK. They have lived in the Gambia for seven years and have established non-profit. Foundation in the United States and NGO in the Gambia. Their aim is to assist Gambians, other Africans throughout the country. <laughs> Mama Nazira and Dr. Joe have been working with schools, youth groups, communities, and villages in form of benefits, in form of better nutritional health practices. They have also established the Spicy Testing Vegan Institute Training Vegan Chef in the Gambia. They are currently on the Healing and Wellness Africa Tour. Today, the authors will speak about the book affectionately called The Food Bible, which has transformed the lives of many to healthy eating and thinking. So today we are expected to learn a lot, and I am expecting that all of us after this session, 
when we go back to our homes, we will think, we will change the way we think about the food we eat, how we eat, where we eat it, and why we should eat it. So, Dr. Joe, the floor is now starting to be presented. Part two. We got so long. I would like before we begin, you don't mind if we give you a gift. Now, when you came in, each of you should have a raffle ticket. Do you not? If you don't have a raffle ticket, raise your hand, and we'll get you one. Yes. 
reduce inflammation. And it also helps to get those bones broken in your body. You may not have to worry about it right now, but it will come. You would really, this turmeric instead of the medication. Omega, to know about the omega-3s, 
also make burgers from the local black arcades. And what do you do? What do you do to add? You add onions, garlic, bell peppers, parsley, all of that what's here can make your burger. And you have to sometimes get used to the flavor, but it doesn't take young people long. It can happen. Um, and the omega-6, we have to be careful of those things because that is the processed food. That, and it's okay to have some omega-6 if you're making your own fries, your own burgers, your own tacos, or whatever you make, you know, that's fun and The main thing is the spices. And I'll let my husband speak and I'll talk about the spices. Now, one of the reasons our book became so popular is because we identified the difference between melanin dominant, that's you black people here, you people of color, and melanin recessive, and those are Europeans white. Number one, I want you to grab your hand or your wrist and just hold it for just two seconds. And keep in mind that your bones are 10 times stronger or denser than the Europeans. 10 times. So that is your whole physiological your, your body's different. You have more veins than Europeans have, those melanin receptors. And because you have more veins than they do, you eat high concentrations of protein and fat. You want to clog them up. And if you clog them up, your blood is not getting to the top of your brain. It's going to be back at the bottom which is called the reptilian brain. And they call it that because it makes you irrational, irritable, and prone to violence with some people. So it is very important you know some of you. For instance, Europeans are those that are melanin receptive. They have more worms and parasites in their digestive tract. So they are able to eat things that if we eat, for people on period of time have problems. Okay? So that is different. Some of you have noticed that when the melanin recessive, when they get back, swimming, they give off that smell, that sulfur. They have more sulfur in their body. They also, some of you like myself have had to suffer with being in an office that was very cold for us, but not for the Europeans. Some of you have seen some of them walk in the snow with sharp pants on. And you wonder why. That is because they have more ammonia salt in their body. And it keeps them warm. Okay? We are very different. You know about a melon and you know what it does. If you don't, in our book, we have a chapter that, uh, all on melon and how wonderfully blessed you are to have this killer, the melon. Uh, Mama Nasura. <laughs> I would like to um, just bring some spices to our awareness that we have all the time and we don't always um, take them that, that, that seriously. Because you can take some of the spices, you know, like all spice. If you have a problem with rheumatoid arthritis, um, you can put that in a glass and that can start to work in your body. It also, um, it does, um, it's also, it reduces the inflammation yeah. in, your, in your body. Um, it's, it's amazing that um, I grew up with um, allspice in my Cumin, of course, cumin is one of my number one 
the spice. You know, it really, really has a good taste and it works really well with chili, chili, you know, tomato sauces. And yeah, it's, it's really, really, really good. Um, Dio is also a good one. And we do have a mother here that's breastfeeding. Bailey is really good for breastfeeding. So, you know, you can use it more than just occasionally. You can also add it in your water or your juices either way. And that will also um, make, give the baby more nutrients, you know, from the baby. Well, garlic, we all know that garlic is definitely a medicine. It's also like an antibiotic. So, yes, these things, and we have more in the book. Please get the book and check it out. Okay, Mama Nasir is going to try to prepare uh, right here for you. And while she's doing that, I'm going to bring out four things I think that are very important for you. How many of you eat the ground nuts here? Raise your hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, hands down. I want you to keep this in mind. The most nutritious part of that ground nut is the skin. The skin. The skin. So put your ground nut, you can put the skin on it. Balance things. So you won't need so much the high blood and diabetes. Raise your hand if you, you got that. Okay, ground nuts. The other thing I wanted to point out, a tiger. A tiger. Because a lot of us don't know. We get products, 
in their written and words that we can't understand, but we stand as giving life, okay? This is what I would like for you to do if you can. Think of these things in the natural, and they will die in the skin. One, you have avocado. Aloe vera. Asparagus, uh, you don't have that so much here, but that's one of them. Broccoli. Honey. You have your oatmeal, you have your oranges, you have your potato, you have your papaya, and you have your turmeric. So these are 11 things that you can use or accomplish, or you can't like your skin without you sharpening your life. Okay, is that good information? Okay, the other thing I wanted to do, have you please give us a call for the people here. That's a reason you have.
Next level. 